Hey, it's Mae Simpson, and this is our podcast, Listen a Little Closer. Today, we're going to listen a little closer to three of our songs. Callie, My Baby by My Side, and Shit Rock. Let's talk about Callie. I remember the moment Callie was written because we wrote it on the spot at Open Streets, which ended up being really cool because it turned in such a great song. You think, Rome? Yeah. Uh, packed streets, 90 degree weather. My thoughts, we got to get down with this. And so I started playing this Lambala beat, which made me want to get down with the beat and the song, uh, which transferred beautifully, I think, to Jorgen playing the acoustic guitar. And then you, the lyrics were born and then the ha- the actual subject actually was described into... I'm not from California. I'm from from South Carolina, which is the point. Well, um, that was because that lady had written written us up, and she was like, "May Simpson from California." And I'm like, "What? That doesn't sound right." That's and not the, correct. Yeah, <laughs> and so, but beautiful tune. Every time we play it, I feel like that first time comes back up again, and it it every time we play it to a different crowd, it's like reliving that moment which is beautiful i definitely relive that moment when she told me that i was from california yep oh, no, yeah. <laughs> I'm like it doesn't sound right <laughs> no but you know it was an honest mistake and hey what are you gonna do we made a song out of it beautiful thing i'm happy about it take a listen can we get vocals up front vocals in the back and the drums please that's romey rome y'all on percussion y'all My Baby By My Side. This song was recorded at the Dakota, where Jorgen and I did a duo set opening up for Little Ed and the Blues Imperials. 
which was such an intimate setting. We didn't really know what to do because it was the first time opening up for another band as a duo. And that's kind of intimidating because it's just you two and you're like, oh, what are we going to do? Um, I showed Jorgen a few chords that I'd been working on. And I had this hook and it was like, got my baby by my side. And I was just like, follow me. <laughs> so we got on stage and we did like this six minute song. And it turned out to be my baby by my side. So that's what you're going to be hearing today. And I think the feeling behind this song was just being so close to someone, feeling like you're in the same body, same bones, same words, same home. It's being that kind of intimately close with somebody. And I think those kinds of songs are the perfect kinds of songs to do as a duo and to do as such a place like the Dakota because you can really feel the crowd's energy and just know that you're all in the same same wavelength so um yeah take a listen go ahead and have your morning coffee there's something about you i need oh there's something in this love my baby I'm going to be all right, it seems. There's no hurry, really, there's no hurry. As long as I got my baby by my side. It is no worry, ooh, really no worry, no, no, as long as I got my baby by my side, don't you know, I said don't you know. That's why I'll be all right as long as you're my home.
I got my Long as I got my, my, my baby. It's time for Shit Rock, and I'm just going to go ahead and pass it to Jordan. <laughs> well, Shit Rock was kind of born out of, I think Aaron had just started playing with us, and I just loved his Wait, drums. who's Aaron? Aaron? Well, he was our third drummer, <laughs> soon to be extra. No. <laughs> no, we want to keep him around. We like him. Yeah. We like him so much that uh, I really liked his drum style, and it was like big and boombastic, and I was like, I want to write a song where it's nothing but like... Big, shitty 80s fills. And Aaron can just hit it hard in between all these things. So I was just trying to write, like, the dumbest 80s song. And I felt like that song was actually already a song. So, like, nobody really... Well, I didn't want to play it because I was like, this is somebody's song. Nope. You just You just stole somebody's song and you want us to play it. And I'm like, I can't do it. Nobody wanted to play this song. Everybody had shot it down except for maybe Aaron. And I can't remember where we were at. Of course, Aaron didn't shut it down. He gets to it's his, rock out. It's his rock out song. Well, and we, when did we first play that song? I'm trying. May, was I, it Rochester? No. Second Street Stage. Maybe. Because we had like, one more song, and then all of a sudden, like, everybody started freaking out and going crazy about so, it. Yeah, one of the things that May does fairly often is she'll look over at me and say, play another song. I'm like, we don't have another song. That was that <laughs> Make was it, it up. <laughs> Make it up. And I was like, I'm playing this song. And I think we started and like, I, everybody just started moving. And I think everybody in the band instantly was like, oh, maybe this song doesn't suck. And now like looking back at those moments, now we, it's like, if we're not playing wrong side of the bed, I'm like, well, I know it's shit rock. So let's, let's rock out, which turned out to be really cool at First Avenue, actually. Like that song leading us off the stage when we played Best New Bands. Yeah. I think it's got, it's just got that like fun just rock energy to it that's like so infectious to anybody can get down on it, you know? I think the most, the thing I actually ended up really liking about that song is that it starts on a high note and it ends on a high note, so. It's just one big high note the whole time. Well, let's leave you guys on a high note. Take a listen.
Hey, dreamers. Thanks for listening to our podcast today. If you have a question for the band, you may submit it using the hashtag Listen a Little Closer. Listen a Little Closer. This podcast was recorded and produced by May Simpson Music at Brave New Media, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 2020.